everybody, it's Ed the Old Tech Guy, and today we're back on part 3 of my furnace repair project. In part 1, we diagnosed the issue with the furnace, which was the control board, and in part 2, we replaced the blower motor and control board. Now in part 3, I'm going to replace the inducer motor because I've got some extra cash. So, we do that first by removing the four long silver bolts there that you see me remove, and I'm using a nut driver so that I don't cause any stripping in the plastic behind the inducer motor and now I will remove the grounding cable that holds it together and you you really can't see me doing this well I'll do a better job when I install it give you a better view next you remove the inducer motor from the exhaust PVC now we've got to go ahead and remove that gasket guys it's sticky it's problematic do your best you'll do a good job Next, we take the new gasket and remove its cover so that we can reveal the sticky part of it and pop it right on there on the furnace. And this will cause that airtight seal. So always, when you remove your inducer motor, you're supposed to replace this gasket. So make sure you replace this gasket. We take this coupler here and make sure that it's pointed the right way. It's got an arrow pointing towards which way the airflow goes. And the airflow arrow should point towards where the exhaust goes. So double check it before you put it on if you put it backwards you're gonna mess up your stuff start putting your screws your long screws that hold the inducer motor in place but make sure you do that using hand tight strength don't overdo it guys don't use a drill don't use anything mechanical here you don't want to strip anything start with start with your fingers and then use a good old Craftsman USA nut driver. <laughs> That's what I'm using, guys. And I enjoy my nut drivers in this type of work. So use that here. It'll You'll make sure that you don't strip anything. All right, guys. I've gone ahead and tightened the coupler on both ends, the inducer end and the exhaust end. It's nice and tight. The motor is in place, and I'm double-checking the tightness. I'm not overdoing it. I'm just making sure that it's tight. I'm going to go ahead and place that grounding cable. When I, You know, the one I couldn't show you very well before because I forgot to move the camera. <laughs> Let's go ahead and show you now how that goes. Nice and simple. As you notice, there's multiple grounds on that same screw. So, you know, just take care to put it the right way or the way you found it. We're going to go ahead and connect the inducer motor to power we're gonna make sure that black is black goes to black red goes to red and white goes to white you really can't screw these up they're kind of keyed if you will or shaped a certain way so that when you put them together you can't mix them up but if you over force it you can force it in there so make sure you're putting it in the right way okay you know it's the right way by following the color code we're gonna start putting the low pressure switch and what I like to call the high pressure switch together that, that little assembly or that bracket all comes in one and we're going to put that all back in and remember there are some rubber hoses that are used for vacuum testing your system to make sure that everything's working right and that's what these switches do they make sure that everything is that the certain amount of air is flowing through them and if it isn't they shut down your system for your safety so these hoses can't be cracked or beat up and you want to go ahead and plug them in the right way. So the, the one that goes to the motor goes to the high pressure switch. The one that goes to the lower portion of the furnace on the left hand side goes to the low pressure switch. And you'll see that here in just a moment. There you go. That's the low pressure switch on the bottom there. See how that goes to the lower left hand corner? And then the, the high pressure switch goes right into the motor. All right. Now we're finishing up some work that we left from the last project, which is we're closing up or putting in the screws for the rail system on the fan assembly. So let's get those in so that we can finish that portion of the work. I promise that we will fire up the system today, guys. <laughs> I haven't been without heat this whole time. I promise you. <laughs> Now let's go ahead and put together the condensation drain assembly. Guys, this provides uh, the ability to drain the transition box, the pressure tap, 
and the vent drain. So you need to put this all together. If you've gone ahead and hurt those rubber hoses by piercing them in any way or shape or form, this is the time to inspect that and replace them if you need to. Also the clamps that go with it. If you notice, whoever worked on my furnace last, and it wasn't me guys, I promise you, <laughs> used a wire tie to kind of keep that thing you know put together on the assembly for now since I don't have a clamp handy I'm gonna put it back together that way and I will come back at a later time and replace it with a clamp to be safe for now it's not gonna leak it's not gonna hurt it's been it's been this way the whole time I trust it because it's been like that for years probably I didn't even notice it so now next what's left is to do a fire up test guys we've got to make sure the furnace turns on and then after that we will replace the filter guys i know it's a dirty filter but right now we're just trying to get this thing going so here we go we're turning on the system we're hearing things happening and it sounds good it looks good i think we've got it fixed i know that the wires are messy i'm not going to show you guys how to make you know clean neat wiring you guys can do that yourselves but guys, look, we're going through the process of operation. We're hearing clicks on the board, then the inducer motor kicks on. Now our igniter is lighting or glowing. <laughs> then the gas pressure valve allows gas to flow. And here we go, we've got fire, the heater is working. Eureka guys, Eureka, we did it. We're DIYers wires and we did did it you can do it too guys if you like this video please comment subscribe give me a thumbs up i really hope this helps somebody out there this is your bud ed the old tech guy signing off